does look like we could see some rain. Let's check back in with CBS 42 meteorologist Jacob Woods now. Jacob, are we going to need to keep that umbrella handy all day long tomorrow? Yeah, I would say play it better to go safe than sorry and just go ahead and have the rain gear with you on your Sunday heading to church or maybe going to lunch after church or any kind of evening plans, baby showers tomorrow afternoon. Have the umbrella with you, any of those raincoats, because we are going to continue to see some showers across the region. This is the rainfall totals from today, around five hundredths of an inch here in Jefferson County, uh, maybe a tenth of an inch in portions just north of Jefferson County, uh, closer to the Gardendale area, about a tenth of an inch over there in uh, Clay County as well to southeast of Talladega. So really across the board, bulk of this kind of fell along the I-65 corridor, mainly in Jefferson County points north towards Coleman. So either way, if you got rain or not today, you still didn't really see much in the way of it at all because many of us still need some meaningful rainfall and it's still going to be quite some time until we see anything like that. Satellite and radar this evening showing that most of us are dry. A couple of showers around the Utah area back over to Carrollton and Reform. Otherwise, many of us are just seeing those overcast skies continuing to stream towards the north and it's all pulling ahead of a cold front that's still located off towards our west and portions of Arkansas and it's keeping most of the rain here just ahead of that cold front back over into central and northern portions of Mississippi. One thing I will point out though is we have some lower dew points, some drier air now filtering in to our eastern counties here in eastern Alabama. Some downsloping action from the southern tail of the Appalachian Mountains leading to some drier air at the surface. Now it is still quite muggy in Birmingham and for much of central Alabama, but some of that drier air is going to kind of influence where we see more in the way of some moisture kind of residing overnight, and that's going to be really along and west of Interstate 65, standing the better chance to see a couple of those light showers overnight and heading into early Sunday. Most of our Sunday, though, I think is just going to be kind of dry with more clouds out there than rain and still can't roll out an occasional sprinkle into the evening hours. I think it's around 10 o'clock and getting into the overnight hours on Sunday night when all of us stand a little bit better chance to see some showers across the region. Notice that cold front starts to near us by Sunday night, early Monday morning. So waking up Monday, we could have a couple of showers here along in southeast of the Interstate 20 corridor. And by Monday afternoon, that cold front's now cleared. Birmingham skies are going to turn towards more sunny and we're going to see some lower humidity filtering in. So high temperatures still reaching those middle 70s there on Veterans Day. So gloomy in the morning, starting out with those clouds and then returning to some sunshine for the afternoon. That lower humidity going to stick around heading into Tuesday as a surface high to our west. It's going to try to move overhead getting into the middle of next week. So keeping our humidity low felt very spring like and sticky this past week, but thankfully we're going to be more comfortable Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That humidity will come right back up before a cold front tries to come in here for later part of this week. Otherwise, temperatures are going to be still relatively above average should be in the middle to upper 60s. This time of the year and even with some cooler air in place, temperatures going to still run quite a bit above average. No impacts from Tropical Storm Raphael as it continues to stay towards our south. That seven day planning forecast shows temperatures are going to stay in the 70s for the next week.